darlings, welcome back to Dining Through the Decades. Last week I asked you all what recipes you wanted to see and it was a resounding yes for sugar apple muffins. So that's what we're making. Now the recipe was actually a newspaper clipping that was in my 1930s cookbook. So I assume there was a little housewife that was reading the newspaper back in the 1930s and found this lovely recipe and thought, I'm gonna pop this in my cookbook and make it. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna be creaming two ounces of butter and two ounces of sugar together in a bowl. I've got my lovely sugar container here and we're going to be measuring out two ounces of sugar. Right. I'm going to add that sugar into the bowl and I'm going to cream that together. I'm a little bit scared to use this because last time I've used this in my other cooking videos, butter and sugar have gone everywhere. So I don't know whether I'm going to do it. Maybe I'm going to manually try it, and if that doesn't work, I'll use this. I just don't want butter going all over my wallpaper here. That would be awful. I'm just going to squish this butter and sugar together until it's all thoroughly mixed together. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put on an apron. What am I doing? I cannot get any food on my lovely dress. Oh no, that won't work. So I had left my butter out on the bench so that it would be soft enough so I can mix it together. You don't want cold butter straight out of the fridge. This is most definitely an arm workout. It's actually barely any butter. I mean, this is a very big bowl, but it looks like there's stuffing in here. So um, hopefully it's going to come together okay. I'm a bit conflicted because the recipe is asking me to beat in the egg, so I feel like I should probably use the electric beaters. I'm just going to go slow with it, and hopefully I won't make a mess. Alright, I'm just going to put one egg in here, and I'm gonna mix it together now. Alright, let's see how we go. Down. It's working! Yay! Yay! It worked, it worked, it worked! Now we can add in all of our dry ingredients and just mix this together. I'm just going to be measuring out 4 ounces of flour, which is around 113 grams. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. There's a hair in here. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm actually going to do half a teaspoon because cinnamon is just delicious. And then a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. sift that all through into the butter and sugar. The salt's not going through because it's too coarse, so I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm just gonna mix this together and then we're gonna add in half a cup full of milk and water combined. I will say this is the tiniest looking mixture. Um, this is gonna make like two muffins. 
probably should have doubled it or tripled it. Alright, that's half a cup full of milk and water. Um, I was meant to add the milk and the flour gradually to the butter and sugar and I just <laughs> dumped it all in. So I'm not sure whether the texture is right, but I'm hoping they'll still come out tasting really nice and the texture will be okay in the end. I'm just gonna put the mixture aside and finally chop some apple and then fold that in. Oh, it's not much. Huh. Right, this is all that 56 grams is. It's tiny. This mixture that I've made is so minuscule, it's gonna feed one hungry person in one bite. Alright, finely chopped and into the bowl. I'm just gonna fold that through now. That's barely any apples. This is so weird. <laughs> I've never made sugar apple muffins by the way, so I don't really know what it's meant to look like, but there's not many apples in here. I don't have any paper towel left, so I'm just going to use this whole butter stick and grease the little muffin tins. Alright, I've only greased six because I don't think this mixture is going to go throughout the whole tray. Alright. I will say, the muffins do look really nice, even though I might have fumbled up the mixture. I feel like gradually adding things definitely changes the texture of the final product. And I am no baker, but my mom is really good, and if she gets something wrong, she'll do it again, and she'll keep making the recipe until it's perfect. I do not have that patience, though. <laughs> We're only going to be able to make five muffins. It's not going to stretch. That's okay. I keep surprising myself with this cookbook and I think, oh wow, this recipe sounds really nice and you know, that will take a decent amount of time. These recipes have been so quick, every single one of them, it's just, and the recipe's done. So I hope this video is a satisfying one for you guys, even though it's not like a 20 minute video. Um, but yeah, do let me know if you try out any of these recipes, I would love to see your creations. Alright, I've just cleaned these up a little bit. Now that the mixture's in the muffin tins, I'm just going to sprinkle out a little bit of sugar on top with some cinnamon and nutmeg. And now we're going to bake these in a hot oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I have my oven set at around 210, 220 degrees, which is the same as 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And while the muffins are cooking, I'm going to go and say goodnight to the chickens. Hi, Mabel. Hi, darling. Hello. Come on, let's go to bed. <laughs> Hi Maud, how are you going? You're looking much better with all your feathers. We've had a problem with this big bad crow. It's coming and scaring the chickens and frightening them. And it ate one of their eggs today, I think. Alright, the muffin's done. Let's get them out and have a look. Got 
cake tester here. Let's see. They're done. It looks like they're done. But they feel a bit soft. Hmm, maybe just a little bit more. I'll put them in for a couple more minutes because I think they're just on the brick. and they should be completely cooked now. So let's take them out and have a try. I'm just gonna put a knife into the side and make sure that nothing is stuck. Ooh, it looks good and it smells like lovely apple, and cinnamon and nutmeg, and butter. It smells delicious. All right, I'm gonna slice this in half and have a look at the inside because I was worried that they weren't cooked. They kind of look really moist. I know some muffins, depending on the ratio of flour and moisture that you add, they can be really moist at the end, but these do look almost uncooked or maybe they're just super moist I'm not sure and they're like way too hot to eat maybe maybe I just need to let them rest for a little bit before I try them but I think I've got to like cut off a tiny little bit and have a nibble all right I left them in for about 10 more minutes so hopefully they're good now has a really nice crispness to it. It's good that it's been in the oven for longer. Now it's perfect. Mmm. Mmm. The apple is so nice and sweet. And the actual muffin itself is not extremely sweet. Usually a lot of the time when you start adding fruit into muffins, they start to get way too sweet. But this is perfect. It was only a small amount of sugar that was in here. And just the chopped apple through it really is a finishing touch. It's really nice. Mm -mm. Mm. And of course, having the cinnamon and nutmeg on top is delicious. Mm -mm. The muffins are absolutely delicious. I'm really happy with the final result. I was worried there for a minute when I took the muffins out earlier on and they weren't fully cooked but they just needed a little bit longer the muffins aren't too sweet which means you can eat quite a few and not feel too bad about how unhealthy they are so they're really really lovely and they're the perfect little snack to take to work or to university i hope you enjoyed this recipe and let me know if you make it and i'll see you in next week's video bye <gasps> oh! Sh sugars So I already have this one that I... Ow, 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 ow!